so this is problem number 14 on centroid of the uh, uh, centroid of the plane figures uh, so here we have to find the centroid of the shaded area okay so here uh, to find the centroid of the shaded area while finding the total area we have to find the area of only shaded portion so for that uh, in the overall rectangle we will deduct area of semicircle area of one rectangle small rectangle and area of this uh, right angle triangle you will get the area of the shaded portion okay so let me draw the reference axis first this is reference y axis this is reference x axis x and y axis now this total rectangle I have taken it as component number 1 semicircle as component number and right angle triangle component 3 and rectangle as component number 4 okay now we will write h bar and y bar formula for all individual components we will draw a dotted line here for semicircle okay for semicircle if I take g2 as centroid distance of centroid from its diameter is always what 4 or by 3 pi And distance from end point is equal to radius okay and if I take g3 as centroid of triangle okay so distance of g3 from this point now the cent centroid is going from the point so it is two third of distance 2b by 3 okay Similarly, y bar, this distance, it is also going from the point, so it is 2h by 3. Okay. The central distance is going from the point, so if it is going from the point, it is 2 third of respective distance. Here also it is going from the point, it is 2 third of respective distance, so that, that is 2 third of height, 2h by 3. Okay. Then for this rectangle, if I take g4 as centroid, it is b by 2 and t by 2. Okay. Now we will start doing the calculation from the table. So figure is not symmetrical for both the axes, uh, you have to find both x bar and y bar. So first component is overall rectangle, total rectangle component number 1, area is, what is total width of the rectangle, 40 plus 80 plus 40, 120, 160 mm is total width of the rectangle and overall depth of the rectangle is 40 plus 20, 60 mm. 60 mm is the overall depth of the rectangle. Sorry. Sixty mm is the overall depth of the rectangle. Okay. So one sixty into sixty. B into D. 160 into 60. Okay. Answer is 9600. Coming to the x value, b by 2 it is 160 by 2, 80 mm. y value is d by 2, 60 by 2, 30 mm. Then what is the next component? Semicircle. Semicircle 2. Okay. The semicircle 2. See, it is an unshaded portion. So take negative sign minus pi r square by 2 half of area of the circle minus pi into radius is how much? So diameter is given. Radius becomes equal to how much? It becomes 20 mm. 
20 square by 2. So, answer is minus 628.319. Minus 628.319. Coming to the x value for rectangle 2. Means distance of G2 from Y axis. This is the x value. It will directly equal to radius R which is equal to 20 mm. Coming to the y value for semicircle means distance of G2 from reference x axis. Distance of G2 from x axis. This distance we, we need. We need this distance. So, how we will calculate that distance? Overall depth is known. In the overall depth, if you deduct this 4 r by 3 pi, you will get distance of G2 from x axis. Means you will get the y value for semicircle. So, 60 minus 4 r by 3 pi. 60 minus 4 r by 3 pi which is equal to 60 minus 4 into radius 20 by 3 pi the answer that you get is 51.51 51 millimeter then go for the next component that is right angle triangle right angle triangle 3 so it is also 100 percent take negative sign minus half into base into height minus half into base of the triangle is 40 height is 20 40 into 20 it is minus 400 mm square minus 400 mm square then coming to the x value for right angle triangle means distance of g3 from y axis this distance x value for right angle triangle it is 40 plus 80 plus 2b by 3 40 plus 80 plus 2b by 3 that is 120 plus 2 into base width is 40 by 3 answer is 146.67 mm. coming to the y value for triangle means distance of g3 from this x axis this distance it is 40 plus 2h by 3 okay 40 plus 2h by 3 40 plus 2 into h 20 mm is the height by 3 and answer is 53.33 millimeter 33 millimeter then lastly we have a rectangle which is component number 4 it is also uncharted portion take negative sign minus b into d width of rectangle 4 is 40 and its depth is given as 40, 40 into 40. Minus 1600. Okay. Then coming to the x value for rectangle 4. Means distance from reference y axis to g4. Distance of g4 from reference y axis, this distance. So it is 60 plus b by 2 okay 60 plus b by 2 60 plus b is 40 by 2 80 mm 80 mm then coming to the y value for rectangle means distance of g4 from x axis this distance okay it is directly d by 2 Depth is also 40. You will get the answer as 20 mm. Okay. Now coming to the AX and AY values. Here it is uh, 768,000. 288,000. Then minus. 
create minus thirty two point thirty two thousand three sixty five point nine six then here answer is minus fifty eight thousand six sixty six point eight minus twenty one thousand three thirty three point two then here minus one twenty eight thousand okay here it is minus 32000 okay coming to the sum of the values total area is found to be 6971.681 then sigma ax value is equal to 568000 8.2 and sigma ay value 202300.832 okay therefore x bar is equal to x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a uh, 5687665.82 divided by Six nine seven one point six eight one, which gives the answer as eighty one point five eight millimeter. And similarly, y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a, which is equal to two zero two thousand three hundred point eight thirty two divided by six nine seven one point six eight one, which gives the answer as. Twenty nine point zero two millimeter. Okay, so this completes the problem. If you have any doubts, you can uh, post your doubt in the comment section. Okay, thank you.